Okay, welcome. You waffle all too much. <laughs> welcome, Andrew, James. Uh, Andrew, uh, your first day as chairman of Wakefield Trinity Wildcats. Yep. Uh, before we go on to your plans, tell us who Andrew Glover is. Uh, I'm Andrew Glover. I'm, um, a Wakefield person, really. Um, I run a business called West Yorkshire Windows. I say I run. It runs itself now. It's, we've been there for quite a long time. Um, I'm a Wakefield fan. Um, not just the club, the city as well. Um, and I've come along and, and ended up buying Wakefield Trinity Wildcats. Excellent. So how, how did the deal come about? How did you get to today? Uh, I came to the Stavros Flatley uh, family day um, with my girls, which were both dancing. And I don't know, I kind of looked around and I saw the the amount that people love this place and the amount of feelings that are here. And you know, and I had a commercial head on at the time and I thought actually I'd like to tap into these people a little bit more for my other business. Um, so I intended to buy a, a couple of pitch boards. So I made the appointment to come in and see James and six months later um, he sold me the club. Excellent. That's so about got, it, isn't it? That's not a bad day of sales, really. <laughs> so, yeah, so James, you must be on a good bonus for that. <laughs> well, no, 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 I've got loads of work to do, so... You got made redundant yeah, yesterday. Yeah, and, and it involved me being redundant <laughs> in the meantime, so it's, it, it's been a, a good journey, but it has, we're yeah. here now. So you must have, it must have been, a, you know, six months from that, that's a, quite a step to being the owner. What, what are your plans? What, what do you want to do now you're here? Well, plans moving forward. The first thing, the first and most important thing that this club needs is the financial stability. Everyone. You know, whenever anybody talks about Whitfield Trinity Wildcats, they talk about the fact it's skin, don't they? They talk about, oh, they can't afford this, they can't afford that, they haven't done this, they haven't done that, and everyone always puts it back down to money. Well, that side of it is, is sorted now. You know, but I am financially sound. This club is now financially sound. My other business is financially sound. We don't need to even talk about it. We don't need to think about it. What we bring to the table, or what I bring to the table, along with the team that I've got, um, is the ability to run this as a business, and it's going to be run sustainably from this point onwards okay that, that's so it's obviously been you know we'll talk about fall going forward in, in a second but if we just maybe cover some of the fans concerns and um, there's been quite a lot of negativity um, oh, and I understand there were yeah. some redundancies at the club yesterday do you want, do you want to talk about that well the, you know the fans concerned in, in, in they're, they're bound to have some concerns at a time like this because unfortunately when an administrator takes over the club they they can do what they want and, ha and do do what they want and do the best for the creditors. Um, that also means that the communication that the, the people in the club can put out to tell people what's going on is limited. Um, and yes, there was redundancies. The administrator's choice was to make all the non-rugby related staff redundant, um, which included myself and other people. Uh, and from that point, once the takeover was finalised, um, the, a new group of employees um, from that set were, were set on uh, oh, under no, new they're contracts they're and, and taken not on. New group of employees, the new, the new to me employees. New to Andrew. Yeah, yeah. new to yeah. spirit of 1873. Uh, the other concern, a lot of fans and, and sponsors as well, maybe people who've bought season tickets. Yeah, there's, there's, there's what, been a lot of speculation over what's covered and what isn't covered. Um, when I bought the club out of administration, I haven't bought any of the debts. None of them are coming across to me. Um, there are some that we'll be honouring, but they're not part of what we've bought as such. Um, but what I have bought is a commitment to honour every single one of the sponsors, uh, whether it's a box, a, a sign, a banner, whatever sponsorship deal is in place, I've, you know, I've bought the responsibility to honour that. And the season tickets, every single one of the season tickets has been honoured by, by me. Yeah. Okay, so James, you mentioned uh, some of the players going uh, as a result of the administrator. Uh, what fans want to know is what, what about going forward? Who are we bringing in? What's, that, what's happening? Well, we've, we've got we've, we've got plenty of budget left to spend. Um, I think is is clear. Like, that's an important message. Yeah, to we, people. we 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 signed uh, two players today, full time permanently, in Josh Griffin from Huddersfield to play centre, replacing uh, Daniel Millard, and. Greg Johnson, again to add to the three quarters, who was a winger who we, we, we couldn't resist really because he's an exciting prospect, an exciting talent that we think he'll, he'll give him a chance, could light up Super League um, and he's he joining both of those uh, players have trained today. We've also taken on loan Craig Harvey to replace the outgoing Sam Hobbs in terms of a halfback, halfback who's a strong um, standoff type player who kicks goals, great kicking game and goes to the line and plays. And we've also taken on a prop in Kyla Moore on loan, who will come and join us on Monday. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get any of that with the takeover only going on this afternoon in time to take them to Catalans. But 
the squad going to Catalans are actually very, very confident and buoyed by all the, the positivity. It was, it was the good club. watching them training today. Uh, you know, there was a buzz about them, wasn't Yeah, John, John's really uh, pleased with how they've trained and, and going forward, there will be more players coming in. So, Andrew, you sit here as chairman on the mm. first day. What's, what's your message to the fans and, and maybe to the people of Wakefield as well? I think we should be one in the same for starters, uh, fans and people of Wakefield, they need to come back, there's been plenty of excuses why people have not been coming, they don't have them anymore, this is a clean slate, we're a new company, we're a new team, all players, most of them, um, but we're here for people to come and support us and the people that have said I'm not coming because of this, I'm not coming because of that, they don't have that anymore, there's none of that, we need you to show your support now. We believe we can get it. We'll be putting incentives in place to make sure they come as well. Um, we need this place filled. We need 10,000 people here next weekend, don't we? We've got, to, we've got a big job to do. We've got a big job to get people uh, back involved with the club. We know how big that job is. We know the difficulties it is to get people, but the excitement starts now. The hard work starts now, tonight, in what we do and how we promote this, how we promote what the fans can do. And how buy tickets, mm -hmm. how they can get involved with the club, they need to be back in the shop buzzing and getting the shirts on, having the players names picked on it, we need to get the kids back through the turnstiles, every part of what we do well needs to be kicking into action yeah. now. Um, and multiplying. Yeah, and improving and, and taking forward and if you are a fan of the Wakefield Wildcats and you think you want to do something to help the club going forward, we'll bring somebody with you. If everybody who, who, who came to our, the, se the game at the end of the season brought one person with them, that would be, be great. We, we would, would have a full house. And that's the sort of passion and the sort of f response yeah. we need now. I've given the, the club the stability that it needs financially and I'm going to be bringing the, um, the business acumen that the club needs to run professionally as a business. Um, I should say with, with me and my team um, doing that. John's got a team out there and he's going to make sure that they play. There's, there's another partner in this team here, which is the fans. The fans have to come and support us. We're going to be putting a Super League application together. Um, that's, you know, that's the next big challenge we've yeah. got. We've got this side of it sorted. There'll be some day-to-day -day running issues that we have to deal with. But James and I have to concentrate and we have to focus on the Super League licence. We want it with a passion. Mm -hmm. We need it. Wakefield should have it. We deserve it. We need to prove that. James, Andrew mentioned Super League licence there, that's obviously uh, coming up and a lot of fans are concerned about that. How confident are you that Wakefield will get a Super League licence? Uh, I'm, I'm confident and I'm realistic. The re realism is that we, we've got a facility issue and we've got a finance issue. They're historical um, in terms of what uh, the, the, the new company can't do anything to go back and change the finances. What it can do is express how good it is at, at, at the other elements. We've got a team um, of uh, a squad of sort of 25 players, uh, but under that we've got 17 full-time junior players. And the playing strength of what Wakefield has and the seam of talent that Wakefield has in terms of making rugby league players should stand us in good stead. And we've got the the tools in place to make sure that we're signing the best and bringing them through. The Spears <coughs> is an example of that and played at the Millennium Stadium at the weekend and showed showed it well. The, um, and he's some, one, one for the future. We believe we've got a few more coming through that. We've got a strong commercial team who are selling well and selling above the weight in a shirt that's worth over half of a, a quarter of a million pounds in terms of sponsorship. We've got sponsors on board who are proud of being involved with the club and, and I think in a, in, a, in, a, in a situation like this um, we would hope that that investment increases uh, rather than decreases so we, we're strong in that. And I've also, we, we've got a community to trust which is as good as any in Super League. So we, we know that the, the licence bid is, is going to be difficult but we've got to talk about what we're good at uh, and, and make sure that we tick the boxes of, um, and make sure we've got the plans in place for the new stadium. Make sure we've got the plans in place to make sure the stability of the finances is, 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 is never an issue again. But also shout louder about what we do well.